Hey, welcome to Color Up. I'm going to show you three different ways to win with only a $120 bankroll. A conservative way, a moderate play, and an aggressive play. Today, we're going to look at an aggressive approach to win with only $120. So I found these strategies on Heavy Holtum's website. I'll go ahead and put a link down to the article and you can read it for yourself. But today, we're going to look at the aggressive play. Now you may say $120 bankroll and aggressive, that's kind of like an oxymoron, right? That doesn't make sense. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to bet $12 and we're gonna be as aggressive as we can, but only risk $12 per shooter. So we're gonna start with a $6 bet on the six and eight. Obviously we're looking to hit these numbers. Now, if one of them hits, we're gonna get paid $7. And this time we're just gonna collect, you can go ahead and deal it, tell the dealer, same bet. Now, if either the six or eight hit again, you're going to get paid $7 again, but this time you're going to give the dealer $5 and ask him to take both your numbers to $12. If we can manage a third hit, $12 is going to pay $14. This time we're just going to collect, again, same bet. If we can hit one of these numbers for a fourth time, Again, we're gonna get paid $12, but we're gonna ask the dealer to go ahead and place the five and nine to cover more numbers. And we'll just go ahead and hold on to the $4. So with four hits, where are we at? Well, here's our original $12, which we've recouped. We've got $8 in pure profit, and we've got a $34 bet out here on the layout. At this point, we're just gonna do a take and press alternating. So if either the five or nine hits, you're gonna get paid $7 and you're just gonna collect. Again, we'll um, take it, and then the next one we'll press. So the next time we're gonna get paid, if we hit a five or nine, we'll get paid $7. We'll go ahead, well, we can either give the dealer $3, or we can just toss them $10, and we're gonna go up one unit on the five and nine. Same thing with the six or eight. The first, the next time it hits, you're gonna get paid 14, maybe you take it. The next time you'll lock up $2 and ask the dealer to go up one unit, or up to $18. You really could take it as far as you're comfortable with. At some point, obviously the seven is coming, so you might wanna regress or pull everything off or down, or you know maybe not press as much and collect some. Uh, it's really up to you, but um, this is a, a good way to get your numbers up. For instance, here from 18, if one of them hits, you're gonna get paid 21. I would go ahead and drop the dealer three more dollars. So we have got $24 here and add it to this. And what this will do, go ahead and ask the dealer to take you all the way up to $30 each. And what he'll probably do is he'll probably change it out at that point. So with just a couple hits, you're already up to green chips and $30 bets. Obviously for this to work, you're gonna to have to hit the six and eight early. So let's go ahead and give it a try with a $120 bankroll. All right, we got a new shooter. We're looking for a six or eight. First, we're going to let them establish a point. It's going to be 11. Still looking for a point. And the point's going to be six. Six is the point. Go ahead and drop the dealer $12. That's going to place the six and the eight. And let's see that six come right back. Here we go. And then eight. That's just great. Six is gonna pay seven. The first time we're just gonna collect it. We wanna see another one. Here we go, six or eight. There's the four. Come on, shooter. There's a 10, 10 down on the end. My dice rolled there, but that was a 10. And there's the six, it's a point hit. So that's gonna pay $7. What we're gonna do is take $5, drop it to the dealer and go ahead and Ask the dealer to take us up to two units. We hit our points, so the puck's gonna come off. Same shooter, we'll let him go ahead and establish a point here. Seven, seven on the come out, we don't care about that. Our place bets are off by default. Another seven on the come out. It's a good time to be rolling the sevens. Two, two craps. Aces in both places. And there's a six, six hard, right back on that six. Our bets are on, they're working. So let's go ahead and see that six or eight. And not gonna happen, seven, seven out. So we lose this, that's okay. We only won $2, so we're, for that shooter, a net loss of $10. That's okay. 
We had uh, twenty-four dollars working for us. New shooter coming out. Let's get it. Go ahead and set a point. Point's going to be ten. Ten down on the end. Go ahead and drop the dealer twelve dollars again. Let's see that six or eight. Here we go. Six or eight. No, another quick seven. Seven out. That's okay. We have enough bankroll. Last ourselves 10 shooters. Hopefully we'll get one hot shooter in this time. Coming out, looking for a point. Point's going to be six. Go ahead and drop the dealer $12. We are placing the point. And here we go. Let's see that six. There it is. Hard six. That's going to get paid seven. The first time for that shooter, we'll go ahead and rack it up. That was our point hit, so that's going to go off, which means our place bets are off. You can ask them to be on or working if you'd like. Mathematically, it doesn't matter. Probability is still the same. That seven showing. But in this time, I'm glad it was off because there's a seven on the come out. Still looking for a point to be established, and it's going to be ten again. Tens are point. We're looking for a six or eight. And yo, yo, 11. There's a five. No field five. And there's a six. That's what we're looking for. So that's our second hit. We're going to get paid seven. We're going to go ahead and take that $5, drop it to our dealer, and ask them to go to $12 each. So that's kind of the aggressive part. You know, aggressive for a $12 better. Because we've collected $2 for the shooter, but we're still uh, in the hole or on the shooter. We've, we've got $10 at risk. But the nice thing is we got uh, $24 out here. Let's go ahead and see that six or eight. One more time. Let's see it. Yo, 11. And 10. 10 down on the end. That's our point hit. Place bets are off. Let's get a new point established. Three. Three craps. We don't care about that. And six. Six is going to be our point. Wish they were working this time, right? That's okay. They're working now. Let's see that six or eight. Two. Two craps. And back-to-back -back aces. Yo, 11. Hitting them horn numbers. We're looking for the inside. Ten. Ten hard. Come on, shooter. Let's give us a six or an eight. There's a five. Come on, shooter. And there's a six. That's our point hit. It's the first time we hit at this level. $12 is going to pay $14. The first time, we're going to go ahead and collect it. The next time, we're going to go ahead and spread out to the five and nine. Puck comes off. That's our point hit. Our place bets are off. Same shooter coming out. Looking for a point. Seven on the come out. It's a good time for that seven. And we've got a Yo 11, still looking for a point. Let's go, shooter. And six, right back on that six. Place bets are working, they're on. Let's see that six or eight, here we go. And there's that six, perfect. 12 is gonna pay 14. We're gonna go ahead, rack up the two and ask the dealer. Actually, we're gonna keep four and we're gonna go ahead and spread out on the five and nine. We definitely locked in a profit for this particular shooter. We've got more dice combinations that could help us win. From here, we're going to alternate between collecting and then pressing up one unit at a time um, or one unit on both numbers. That was our point, so that puck's going to come off, so we're going to have to wait a little bit to get our point established. And it's going to be nine. Nine's the point. Our bets are working. Let's see any of the inside numbers. Here we go. They're right back on that nine. $5 is going to pay 7 the first time. We're just going to go ahead and collect. That was our point hit, so that's going to come off. The next time we hit on the 5 or 9, we'll go ahead and press them up. Let's go ahead and get a point established first. There's a 5. Points 5. Our bets are working. Inside number. Here we go. 6. That'll work for us. $12 bet's going to pay 14 If you forget where you're at, it really doesn't matter. Uh, play it from that point. If you don't know whether you're supposed to take or press, um, if you want to be a little more conservative, go ahead and collect it this time. I'm going to go ahead and be a little more aggressive. 
We're going to ask the dealer to press us up another unit. We're going to go to 18 each, and we're only going to collect $2 that time. All right, shooter, inside number. Here we go. No, seven, seven out. Just when we got the casino right where we wanted them, right? Bet's pressing up a little bit. That's okay. It was a decent little roll. We want a little bit on that shooter. But we're looking for a, a nice long roll. Here we go. New shooter coming out. Point's going to be five. Five's the new point. Again, going to get down for $12. Again, looking... Oh, lost my dice there. Flew backwards out of my hand. Can happen from time to time. I don't know why I just dumped the dice. Did I do that before for new shooter? I don't remember. Sorry, you get thinking about different things uh, when you're playing and dealing and different things like that. I'm just going to go. We have a point of five. We've just placed the numbers. I shouldn't have dumped the bucket. I don't know why I did. But here we go. Let's see a six or eight. There's a six. Perfect. That's going to pay seven. Remember, this is a new shooter, so we're going to treat each shooter as an individual play. First time, we're just going to rack it. More six and eights. Three, three craps. And six, six hard. Perfect. Six will pay seven. We're going to go ahead and take that five we won earlier, drop it to the dealer, and we're going to ask the dealer to take us up two units, $12 each. One more time. One more time, shooter. Three, three craps. And not going to happen. Seven, seven out. All right, new shooter. Can only have two. Here we go. Let's get a point established. Seven on the come out. My dice rolled there. That was a seven. And eight. Eight's going to be the point. Again, $12 to the dealer. Let's come right back on that eight. Five. Let's go, shooter. Three, three craps. There's ten, ten hard. That's the tough part of the strategy, just sitting by watching numbers roll. Eight, eight hard. That's a point hit. It's a brand new shooter, so the first time we're just going to collect seven. Puck's going to come off because that was our point hit. We really only have five dollars at risk it, uh, from the shooter at this point. Go ahead and get a point established. Right back on that eight. Place bets are working. Five dollars at risk. Let's see that six or eight. We got a nine. Twelve. Midnight. And there we go. Eight again. It's our point hit. That's going to pay seven. We're going to take five dollars that we won earlier from the shooter. I'm going to drop it to the dealer. I'm going to take these units up to two each. So now we have $12 bets. There was a point hit, so the puck's going to come off. We've won two for that shooter, so we've got $10 at risk, but $24 um, working for us. Eight, right back on that eight. Shooting eights. Can we hit it one more time? Let's see that eight. Six, that'll work just as well. $12 is going to pay $14. First time, we're just going to go ahead and rack it. Make sure we got a profit on that shooter. Come on, six or eight. Let's hit it again. No. Seven, seven out. All right, all right. New shooter coming out. Let's get a point established. It's going to be nine. Again, we'll drop uh, twelve dollars. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to touch these up here. I'm just going to pull from my original bankroll just so I can see how it goes. I'm going to drop the dealer fifteen and ask him to set us up for twelve each. 
So we'll get three dollars and change. All right, let's see that six or eight. Yo, eleven. Come on, shooter. There's a four. I think that's the first time I don't remember hearing a four before. Here we go, seven, seven out. No good for us. That shooter was no good. Let's get a new shooter. Good shooter in here. Let's get a point established. Four, four hard. Points four. Go ahead and drop the dealer 12 more. All right, let's see that six or eight. There's the eight, perfect. Like to see that. First time we're just gonna collect that $7. We'll rack it up. See it again, we've got $5 at risk. There's the five, no field five. 12, midnight. And there's a nine, shooting all around. Let's focus in on that six or eight. There's four, four hard. That's our point hit. Puck will come off, our bets are off. Let's get a new point established and six. Wish they were working, but they weren't. They are now. Here we go. Six or eight. And seven. Seven out. My dice rolled there, but it was a seven. Well, we got enough bankroll for a couple more shooters. So go ahead and drop shorter ones. We'll go ahead and drop 15 again. We get three and change. Um, I went ahead and set them up before establishing point. It doesn't matter. They're, what, what, you could do it before or after. They are still off by default unless you get them turned on. So we'll go ahead and establish a point. It's going to be five. Five is our point. They're now working. Let's see that six or eight. It's going to be a six for a win. Let's grab some more ones here. It's going to win seven. The first time we're just going to collect. Second time we'll press and then we'll collect. There's an eight, eight hard. The dice are rolling just right. So this time we win seven. We're gonna go ahead and give back that $5. Yeah. Go ahead and go to 12. Let's see it again. Come on, shooter. You're hot. There's a nine. There's an eight. Great. This time we get paid 14. Let's go ahead and drop the dealer one for 15. Go ahead and rack that 15. All right, six or eight. One more time. Let's see it. Eight. No, six. It's going to pay 14. We're going to go ahead and have them place the five and the nine. Go ahead and lock up that $4. Got plenty of combinations working for us. Now we just need to hit them. There's a six. Six hard. Going to go ahead and collect this time. It's going to pay 14. I'm going to give the dealer one for 15. Again, you can press it up or collect, kind of whatever you want. This time I'm going to collect just because I haven't had a good uh, shooter yet. Here we go. Any of the inside numbers. There's a nine. Five is going to pay seven. The first time we hit one of these, we're going to go ahead and rack it. The next time we'll press it up to $10 on both of them. See if we can hit it. And there's an eight. Need some more ones. That eight is gonna pay $14. We're gonna go ahead and lock up two and ask the dealer to take us up to 18 each, or three units. Lock up that $2. Here we go, still looking for inside numbers, anything. Eight, eight hard. 18 is going to pay 21. First time, we're just going to go ahead and collect. More inside numbers 10, 10 hard. And not going to happen. There's the end of our run. Seven, seven out. It's all right. We want a little bit on that shooter. Looks like we have enough for two more shooters. 
Here we go, coming out. Let's see a point. Seven on the come out. Doesn't affect us. We're waiting for a point. Two, two craps. Three craps. And there's a six. Point's going to be six. Mark the six. Go ahead and drop our $12. Shooter number nine. Let's see it. Lucky number nine. There's a four. See that six and eight. There's another four. And eight. There we go. First hit, we're just going to collect. There's a nine. Five. No field five. Let's go shooter. There's another nine. And a four. There's another four. Shooting four is a shooter. There's a five. Shooting all around the place. We need that six or eight, sir. There's another nine. Six or eight, shooter. Eight, eight hard. It's going to pay seven. I can't remember that as our first or second time. I'm going to go ahead and drop the dealer five. Go ahead and bump these guys up. Twelve each. Let's see it again. Six or eight. Here we go. There's an eight. Perfect. My dice rolled, but that was an eight. Typically, they'll flip it. So big red's not showing. That 12 is going to pay 14. First time, we're just going to go ahead and collect. Next time, we'll spread out to the five and nine. Here we go. One more six and eight. Not going to happen. Seven out. Got enough for one more shooter. I'm not sure how... I think this video has been pretty long. That's all right. Get to see what it looks like going through the whole bankroll and where we stand after it. Again, I placed my numbers before the point was set. It doesn't matter. This means they're off. Looking for a point, and the point's going to be eight. Oh, I wish... Oh, dropped my puck. I wish they were on, right? Yeah, you just never know. All right, they're on now. On the eight, and here we go. Six or eight. Two aces in both places. There's that eight. It's going to pay seven. We're going to collect on the first one. Puck's going to come off because we did hit our point. Let's get a new point established. Four. The point's going to be four. Let's see that. Six or eight. There's the six. That's going to pay seven. We're going to go ahead and take five dollars, drop it to the dealer, and take these up to two units each. Let's see if we can hit them again. Yep, we can. There's that eight. Twelve is going to pay fourteen. This new level is the first hit, so we're going to go ahead and rack it up. Next hit, we'll spread to the five and nine. Can we do it again? Let's see some more six and eight. Twelve, midnight. There's a six. Twelve dollars is going to win fourteen. I'm going to go ahead and place the five and nine. Rack up another four. We now have ten. Uh, Eighteen combinations working for us. Inside numbers, here we go. 18 was not enough. There's six combinations of seven, and it bit us. So that's it. That's the aggressive version, and I'll make uh, additional videos of both the conservative and the moderate uh, versions that Heavy Haltum suggested for a $120 bankroll. Again, I'll put a link down to his uh, website. Check it out. He's got lots of cool stuff, and uh, let me know what you think of this. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.